You know, whenever I'm performing with playing cards, the first thing that I'm generally asked is, Andy, are you able to cheat with cards? And the answer to that is absolutely a definitive yes. I always like to get that out of the way right at the very beginning. But the follow up question generally is, well, can you give us a demonstration of that? So let's deal with that now. And I will give you the demonstration. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you a game of chance in which I will cheat. OK, I make no secret of that. But at the end, I will explain exactly how this is done so you will know all of the secrets. OK, this is a game of chance that uses four cards. However, because I cheat and because I use sleight of hand, if I give this packet a twist and a snap, one of those cards, in this case, the Ace of Spades, will actually turn face up. Now, the Ace of Spades is the money card, and it's the one you need to keep your eye on. Try not to get distracted by these jokers that I'm using, because if you get distracted by the jokers, they will only confuse you. Okay. Now, it has to be said that when the Ace of Spades is face up, it's very easy to see. However, if I use a little bit of sleight of hand, that Ace of Spades becomes much harder to keep track of. Now, what I could do here is use a little bit of sleight of hand and take one of those jokers and place it face up into the packet. Using sleight of hand, I can make that joker disappear and be replaced by the Ace of Spades. Now, don't forget, the Ace of Spades is now face up and it's easy to see. However, using sleight of hand, a twist and a snap and the Ace disappears and is replaced by the joker. Now, with sleight of hand like this, in a gaming situation, you really wouldn't stand a chance. So let me make things a little easier for you, OK? What I could do is actually get rid of one of these jokers simply by palming it out of the packet. But did I palm it out of the packet? Because using sleight of hand, I still actually have one, two, three, four cards here. And the reason why I have the four cards still in my hand is that this is... The game of chance that uses one, two, three face down jokers and a face up ace of spades. Now, I did say I would kind of explain how this works, but generally my audience do this for me. At some point, generally someone will say, Andy, you must be using an extra card. And you know what? I am using an extra card. And then another spectator will say, Andy, you must be using another ace. And you know what? I do use another ace. And then someone will say to me, Andy, if you're not using an extra card and another ace, you must be using a secret assistant. And the fact is that I do use a secret assistant. But generally speaking, the spectator that has the greatest insight into this particular game of chance will say to me, Andy, all of this is nonsense. You must be using marked cards. And it is that person to whom I salute, because whenever I perform this, I always use marked cards. So now you know all of the secrets. But what I would ask is that you keep it to yourself.